At the end of the previous video, you saw me add the blank page. So now I'm going to start designing this page. I'm going to click Add Section, and my section options are going to pop up. How do I want this to look? Um, I'm just going to select one of them here. I had told you all that you could go ahead and browse through these and decide what you might want. I'm going to grab this one, and I'm just going to drag it right there. Once I did that, I automatically see that the sidebar changed and I can start making some changes to the page. So the first thing I want to do is change my image. So if I click or go right here by image, I can click replace and it's going to take me back to this page here. I'm going to click upload media and remember I told you from my in the other video, I already organized my work so that it's nice and simple for me. It doesn't take me too long to look for things. Some of you might be tempted to skip that step. I'm going to tell you that you really should take the time to organize all of your images for whichever page you're working on. It'll just help your work to go that much quicker. So here's my image that just uploaded. I'm going to click on it and click apply. And it's going to pop right in here. This page is not going to be called Stories by Mommy and Naomi. This is going to be Naomi's skills. Um, you know, when you're her age, you're learning new skills all the time. So I'm going to call this Naomi's skills. And I don't want the subtitle there. So I'm just going to click this check right here and it's going to hide that. It's not necessary. I don't care for the layout of this page. So I'm gonna click my design button again. And I'm remembering that my home page had the black background and then the white border around the picture. For myself, I like my pages to have a consistent look. Um, from one page to the next, I think that that makes it look very professional. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Now that that's done, I'm going to go to Add, and I'm going to click Section to Page. When you do that, you're going to see this pop up right here. I now get to decide what kind of element I want to add. Now, there are some recommendations right here, or I can click on Text or Image or Video. I want to grab my viewer's attention right away, and one of the skills Naomi just mastered was riding her bike without training wheels. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that video and put it right in here. So I'm going to click on the word video. And I'm going to grab this section and drag it right over here. Now, just like with the picture, it's very similar. I'm going to come right here to my title and I'm going to call it Naomi Rides a Bike with No Training Wheels. I decided um, to go ahead and put my title and I put the date and I added a little paragraph. So all I had to do was there was this circle here. I just clicked on the circle and my paragraph is right there. So it's visible. Um, I can I typed it, but I can go back and edit it if I need to. I do notice that the font is pretty small. So I'm going to select it and I'm sorry, I'll have to go back in and see how to change the, the font size. So let's just keep going. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the video. This is just the one that they had on the site. I want to use the actual video of Naomi writing without training wheels. So I'm going to click edit and replace and get that from that folder of, of things that I had already organized. And so here we have it. I popped in the video just like I had done previously with my pictures and I am finished with this section here. So I am going to get ready to end this video. So I'm going to hit publish. And I am using the free Wix.com domain. So it's this here. I can click on the word website and I can make a change to that portion there. So now my site is published and it is live online. All I would have to do is click view site and it will take me right to my website and I will be able to take a look at it and then I'll know what I need to change um, when I do my next video.